Hi, Steve, WichitaFixit.com. What we're doing today is something a little bit different. I have a customer that wanted a, a accent wall painted and then sponged, and I wasn't sure if I did a video on it before, but, but this is it. I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you the technique I use. So the sponge you wanna use, flat on one side, and it's gotta be a natural sponge, a man-made sponge, it will not work. It won't look right. And you don't need much paint. You just want to get some paint on and dab it, just dab it off there like that, and then come in. And you don't want to push too hard because then there's too much paint going on the wall. Then as the as you start using up some of the paint, then you can push a little bit harder. Then you want to rotate your sponge every now and then. And what the flat part of your sponge is good for is where you have to get into edges, like at the trim. It kind of helps you cut it in a little bit. And then you want to be consistently inconsistent. Rotate your sponge. Rotate how you hit the wall with it. And different guys do it different. This is just how I do it. This is two color, but you could go back in here with a, a darker gray or even a black and just in a few areas and it'll help accent it even more so. Look for more tips and subscribe. Appreciate all the hits. WichitaFixit.com. Go to Facebook, WichitaFixit, or on YouTube, WichitaFixit. Thank you.